you were to walk around London, you would pass by buildings with round blue plaques on the front, bearing the name and dates of a person who lived there. This is known as the blue plaque system, which has been in place for over 140 years. These are memorial tablets that commemorate a remarkable person having inhabited or worked in a certain house. The idea was first proposed in 1863 by William Ewart. The very first plaque was erected in 1867 by the Society of Arts. It commemorated the famous poet Lord Byron. The task of distributing these plaques throughout London has many times switched hands, but today the job falls to the English heritage, whose job it has been to manage these since 1986. These plaques exhibit a desire to stay in touch with London's interesting past, regardless of the condition of the house or apartment, as long as the edifice is still in place, a plaque may be placed on the facade. The many spots of the numerous plaques are in varying degrees of preservation, depending on the importance of the person who resided there, who later had possession of the space, as well as many other contributing factors. Some of these houses, as you will see, have been picked up by small organizations that desire to further educate the public about London's fascinating history. Names that you would find on these plaques vary from those of scientists, to politicians, to writers, and other types of artists. Such a prestigious list of personages includes Bella Bartok, Randolph Caldecott, and Mahatma Gandhi, as well as many others.